Hey there, today we've got a couple of USB chargers. Now, it's uh, somewhat common knowledge that you can't get the full output of a large amperage charger without shorting the data pins. Um, so what happens is your phone is programmed to only draw a maximum of 500 milliamps of current from a computer, a USB port that would be able to send data. However, the way they get around that for wall chargers to get them to charge faster with larger uh, power supplies is that they short the data pins out. They actually connect them together. If your phone senses that they're shorted out, it will uh, go into the higher charging mode and it will be able to draw the full capacity of the charger. Now, expensive chargers, uh, name brand chargers, the one that come with your phone, those have already been shorted out. They're properly designed, and uh, they're going to send the right signal to the phone. But a lot of us are cheap, and we buy these uh, inexpensive chargers off of eBay or uh, places like that, and uh, it doesn't give you the charging performance that you expect. And the reason is the data pins aren't shorted out, so your phone detects it as USB and only charges the lower rate. So... I've got two chargers here. These are easy to take apart and look at, and we can actually go in and solder the data pins together so that you won't uh, get the low charging rate. You'll actually be able to get full speed charging out of these cheap devices. So this one I've already taken apart. You can see here we have uh, well, if it'll focus, come on, there it goes. Uh, you can see here we have eight pins together, and you see that in the middle of both sets of four, we have a pair of data pins. And I've already done this. Those are soldered together. I just bridged it over with some solder. And as soon as you plug this back in, it's going to... Uh, signal to the phone that it's an AC charger and a wall charger and it can use the higher amperage. Um, for this one, this is a style that's very common on eBay. It's got a large case. Uh, you plug it in and there's one port off to the side. Again, this is a 2000 milliamp or 2 amp charger. It's got one screw here on the side. Uh, a pointy screwdriver can fit in there and get that. You pop it out like that. Full face comes off, no problem. Uh, you can slide the board out and then we have the uh, very basic board here flip it upside down and you can see right here these are the pins that we're interested in you see the USB connector yes my phone is slowly focusing so we have the two charging pins on the outside and you see that they didn't even connect these middle two to anything they're in the green area in between the copper but they didn't connect them together so when the phone sends a current down it down the data pins to see if anything happens it just gets nothing back it just assumes that there's a computer that's not talking because these weren't shorted so I've taken the soldering iron and just bridge this together um, and when you Put this all back together, uh, put it back in its case, and plug it into the wall, you find out that it is indeed charging at full capacity. So um, it's not hard to do. If you've got a soldering iron, this works great. Another way to do this, yeah, it looks like I'm putting this into the case backwards. Another way to do this would also be to create a special charging cable. The problem with that is now you can't use that cable to transfer data. So rather than mess up a bunch of charging cables and try to remember which ones are which or mark them or all those, uh, it's just easier for me to, to actually modify these chargers because they're fairly simple. And, uh, you know, these Chinese ones, they tend to leave a lot of room in the case so that you can get in there and resolder it. It's uh, pretty trivial. So I prefer to do it this way, and then I can use any cable and it's going to work just fine. So thanks for watching. Uh, go get one of these chargers for a couple of bucks off of eBay. But if you do, just pull it apart, solder those pins together, and you'll be at full charging speed. Thanks for watching.